Welcome back to Unreal Engine ND. So today we're going to do a anim notify state. So if we go into our content and we go to Wukong, go to montages. So this montage attack, this one here, what we need to do is we need to add a anim notify right here. Anim notify begin and an anim notify end. So that's how we're going to be applying damage. Add here anim notify state. So we're going to write some code to be able to have our custom anim notify states show up here. So let's go into our C++ and we're going to go to the character folder here. We are going to right click new C++ class. We're going to go to all classes. We are going to type in anim notify state. Make sure it's anim notify state and not anim notify because when you when we right clicked you, you noticed there was two of two of them anim notify anim notify state we want this one here make sure look down the bottom selected class source anim notify state dot h go ahead and click next and we are going to rename this to let's say notify state and we're just going to call this right weapon. Go ahead and create the class. Okay, successfully linked. So it's successfully linked. And what we can do is we can just jump right into I closed on the editor. So what I have here is the red line saying it needs to be added to Git. But what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to new branch. And we're going to call this part 14 and um, a notify state. Go ahead and create that branch. And then we're going to take these and we're going to add to get. And we're just going to push that up real quick. Okay. So now that that's added and I'm on a branches, yep, I'm on part 14 and I'm notified branch. So the way that I figured this out was I had to look at the source code. And when we get into behavior trees, we're going to be doing this as well because I needed to figure out a few things. So this is sometimes where people don't like C++ and they just want to do things in blueprints because they there's not a lot of tutorials out there to be able to show you how to do this. And people just get kind of scared, I guess, when they start looking at the source code, which I, I don't think you should be. It's just something new, uh, it's something you'll have to get used to, and if you are going to get serious into doing Unreal Engine C++, it's a good idea to start jumping into the source code because you'll be able to start understanding things a lot better. So let's go into the Explorer. I'm on Writer. You can do the same thing on Visual Studio. We are in Games right here. We want to go to Engine. Now, it's not a dependency, not a config, plugins, shaders, source. So I, I just want to source. Now, I did not know where to look for. So what I did was I right click 
and editor and find in files. I don't know exactly where it is for Visual Studio, but I, there is a find in file there. So a window will pop up and what I did was I typed in anim notify state because I knew I wanted an anim notify state because when you right click and create new class, it tells you the .h file. So I knew I, I knew I wanted that because I need to know what to put in there as far as for the code. So, and if you come here to the right, look over to the right, you'll see, you'll have to scroll down some. And what I did was anim notify state. So when you search for anim notify state, uh, you can look for anim notify state dot h or dot cpp. So anim notify state, we have this right here, anim notify state. That's in animations anim notify, anim notify state dot h. So what I did was I just went on ahead and click, double click that, and I opened it up. And I wanted the header file as well. So I could not find the header file to open it up just by searching through it. So what you want to do is when you double click on one of these functions, you can do, uh, I don't know what the shortcut method is to open that file because I have it hotkeyed on writer. So you can see here it, it opens it up the header file for you. Okay, so now we've got the header file and the CPP file. And we are looking at the engine source code. So I know I wanted a notify begin and a notify end. So when I look through here, I don't need a notify tick. I don't need that. I need the begin and I need the end. But if you look right here, it says UE deprecated 5.0. This function is deprecated. Use the other notify end instead. Same thing for begin. So you can use this code right here for now, but in the future it's going to be deprecated. So it says use the other one instead. Well, if we look down below, we have notify begin and notify end. A lot of times you're not going to see this deprecated, so but when you do, there should be notes to tell you what to do. So we're going to go ahead and use the notify begin and the notify end. So this is what I need in the header file. And the notify end is what I need in the header file. So what you can do is, I'm going to move this over here. We can go into the header file. And the first thing we want to do is we want to do public and we want to do a void notify begin. And if we come over here, virtual void notify begin want to copy that come over to the header file and paste that in and you want to do an override because you are overriding that method that's the notify begin now we need the end and notify end so copy that come over to your header and go ahead and paste that in okay so now we have the notify begin notify end what we need to do is we are going to come over here and I know in the future we're going to need the class a Wukong character and I'm just going to put a comment here called declarations and 
then we're going to come down here to notify begin actually what I'm going to do is come up here and do an include we're going to be including the Wukong character dot H so I know we're going to need that in the future and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to type in a Wukong character and we're just going to call this Wukong character go ahead and save that now what this says here we do a little squiggly if you hover over that object member Wukong character can be garbage collected at any time okay so it just needs to be garbage collected and that is the good thing that I like it gives you that information at least I know writer does because a lot of people are worried about oh I don't want to get into C++ I don't want to have to uh, manage the memory and things like that and the Unreal Engine source code uh, does a really good job the framework that you're using it'll tell you hey you need this can be garbage collected so when you see that hover over it and then you can add that now I'm not the best person at C++ with Unreal so if I say something wrong or if I'm doing something uh, outside of what Unreal Engine wants you to do let us know in the comments so what we have to do is we have to create the definitions and we're going to come back here and there we go All right, definitions okay so now that we have those definitions what we need to do is we have super uh, we don't need that so we can go ahead and remove the super I uh, did not use that in my other one okay so what we need is we need to find out if the character uh, if, if we need to activate the right weapon and things like that but right now this notify begin uh, it should work so let's go ahead and I'm gonna do a debug I'm gonna do a screen debug text that is a custom uh, shortcut that I added within Rider. You can add them uh, in most of the IDEs that I know of. I know Visual Studio, you can in Rider. So you can just type in G Engine add on screen debug message. And we're going to keep the debug message there for five seconds and the color is going to be green and it's going to say notify begin and we are going to do a another one it's going to debug text and we are going to do a notify end so let's go ahead and save that and we will go ahead and run this the IDE has it's compiled the IDE is up and running so let's go ahead and let's go to the Wukong character where is it montages Let's go to main attack montage. Let's go ahead and stop that. And let's right click, add notify state. And if you look right here, it says notify state right weapon. You want to click on that. Now, this has where you can take it, click it, and drag it. So it has one, then it has two to show you where it begins and ends. So what we need to do is we want to activate the weapon here. So what we're going to do is enable collision for the weapon because when we set up the code in the future, and that'll be in the next video, all this is going to be de deactivated. So what we need to do is we need to activate the weapon about right there. So let's go ahead and drag this over. And then once we activate and we make a full attack 
and then like right here you possibly want to deactivate it so you want to deactivate the weapon collision about right here so as you can see activate the collision and when it hits we can apply damage so let's see if these notifiers are going to work so let's jump in and we will click and it does as you can see in the upper left when I swing notify end notify begin so notify begin and end is working so that is how you set up anim notify states so if we jump back into the code what we did to recap what we did is we went into the engine source i wanted to look at source i right click and i go to editor find in files you can do the same thing in visual studio and i typed in anim notify state to search through the source code so i wanted an anim notify state so i just come through until i find an anim notify state anim notify state dot cpp you can open that up that right there will show you what you need and we need we know we need to notify end so i double clicked and i opened up the header file and within the header file we noticed that it was notified begin that this is deprecated but this is not and the difference is we have a const anim notify event reference they are adding that so what we did is we copied the notify begin and the notify end we added it to our virtual void and notify begin we pasted that in and I need to do an override so let's go ahead and add that so we added the overrides in so notify begin notify end we added that in and we created the definitions for those so now that they are created we have what we can do is notify begin and notify end so now we can have access to the character so in the next lesson what we're going to do this mesh comp right here use skeletal mesh comp we're going to take the mesh comp and from there we'll be able to get the owner so we're going to go ahead and cast to the wukong character and then we're going to get the owner and then from there we're going to have a function inside wukong character that will be able to activate and deactivate the weapons so that will be in the next video so for this video i wanted to show you how to create custom anim notify state that is all i have for now and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.